Hello all and welcome to our channel. So before starting the video, I have a simple question to you all and uh, what is 0.6 minus 0.2? Right? So you have uh, three seconds to think and give me the answer. So I have heard so many of people saying that answer is uh, 0.4 and uh, which is uh, wrong. I mean technically it is right, but according to Python, it is wrong. Right? So in order to understand that, you know, uh, please stick to this video and uh, give a like and subscribe to the channel if you have found this video informative. I will try to keep this video as short as possible and try to give much information for you. So let's try and you know, start understanding what's the problem that we are going to face by using floating point numbers arithmetic operation. So I am going to launch uh, Python here. So I am going to use Python 3.9. So I am not, uh, not using any older versions of Python. This is the latest version of Python. And let's do some small arithmetic operations. So what is 2 plus 3? Five. What is two star three six? Right. So there is no problem that you are going to face by using this uh, integers, right? So, but the problem starts when you are, you know, uh, moving to the above level of uh, complexity. That is the floating numbers. So when I say point one plus point one, so it is giving me point two, right? So you might feel that there is nothing error in this, right? Let me do something here. So zero point six minus. Uh, let's do zero point uh, six. So do 0 0.9 minus 0 0.3, it has given me what? 0. Point some n numbers of zeros and 1, right? So, but why is this happening? Because uh, 0 0.9 minus 0 0.3 is technically 0 0.6, right? But according to Python, it is not, you no? Know? Uh, let's also do something like this. So 0 0.3 minus uh, 3. So let's see whether it is equal to uh, 0 0.6 or not. And it is going to give you false, no? Are you getting the point? 0 0.9 minus 0 0.3 is not equal to 0 0.6, right? Because it is giving us false. And to be honest, when I, for the first time I saw this, I was like shocked, right? No, why is that happening, right? So is there any wrong with my system or is there wrong with my Python installation? But there is nothing wrong with Python installation. There is nothing wrong with the computer. This is how the things are done, right? So as I said previously, 0 0.6 minus 0 0.2 is not going to give us 0 0.4, but in fact, it's going to give us 0 0.3, some 10 nines or 12 nines and seven. And if you ask me, why is this happening? This is because the way floating numbers are being represented in Python itself, right? So first of all, uh, you need some back knowledge of what this is happening. So let's say, you know that, right? So in uh, machine, so everything is stored in the form of uh, ones and zeros, right? So everything is a binary. Right. So even if you're trying to know uh, store integers, they are going to be stored as binaries. And the same thing here, even if you are trying to uh, know store floating point numbers, they are going to be stored as fractions. That is, uh, they are going to be you no know, uh, converted into base, uh, base two uh, values, that is uh, decimal numbers from by converting them into fractions. So these numbers are converted into fractions. Fractions are then converted into base numbers. And in fact, there is an entire, uh, entire article on uh, Python documentation about that. We'll also see that. And uh, also uh, if you observe, right? So uh, this has to do nothing with Python, right? So Python has nothing uh, to do with this and this is not a bug, but this is how uh, machines are built, right? So as you know, Python, so when we say Python, uh, we are implementing to C Python, right? So traditional Python is nothing but C Python. So C Python has been built on C, right? So it is being built using C language. And in C languages, the numbers are uh, represented in a base two num base two numbers, right? So uh, the the representation of floating numbers in Python is similar. In fact, it is same as how the numbers are being represented in uh, C language. Right? You might also know that there is another version of Python called as PyPy. That is, I call it as PyPy. You might be calling it as PyPy or something like that. So the difference is PyPy is not built on C but it is built on a uh, JIT compiler. And I'm not sure about the specifics, what happens in really. But uh, when I say Python, that in, even in the complete coding, right? So when you select Python, you are using C Python by default, but when you are using PYP by, you are using JIT compiler. JIT is nothing but just-in-time compiler. So that is a why, uh, you know, you might have uh, observed that you are getting better uh, run times with PYP by. So let's try and implement the same thing with the PYP by. So I have uh, chosen a PYP editor. So for this, I'm going to use id1.com. So id1.com is a, a pretty good source for uh, online editing tools. So I'm going to use PYP by here. And if I you know run 0 0.6 minus 0 0.2, then this is going to be give me, giving us uh, our exact answer, the answer that we are uh, expecting. 
right so but when i go for traditional python so that is python 3 so i have uh, used geeks for geeks ide for you and now if i print that i'm not going to get 0.4 but in fact i'm going to get 0.3 something and uh, 7 right so i hope you understood the problem right so you understood what's uh, wrong here and let me just give an example uh, sorry let me just you know give a complete walk through here of why this is happening and what are the ways that which why you can uh, know uh, overcome this error right so as i said there is a uh, documentation of every issue and limitation of uh, with floating point arithmetic in python right so i have i will link this uh, in the description you can check that out for yourself so let's try and read this document so that uh, you will understand along with me you know of each and every quirks in uh, dealing with floating point arithmetic right so uh, the first we have given an example that is called as 0.125 and they say that floating dependent numbers are represented in a computer hardware as uh, base 20 base 2 fractions right so we are not going to store this as a uh, direct numbers but we are going to you know convert them into fractions and uh, these fractions are then converted into base 2 numbers right so in the end everything is going to be zeros and ones that is binary uh, numbers but for the floating numbers they are going to be converted into fractions binary fractions and then they are going to convert into base 2 numbers right so for 0.125 they are going to say 1 by 10 plus 2 by 10 plus 5 by 10 so it is going to give us so 125 the same same thing with 0.001 right but here comes the problem right so how we are going to represent 1 by 3 that is we are trying to divide one unit into three people right so i can say it is 0.3 right so i will ask another person he will say no it is not 3.3 it is 0.33 and another person says that 0.333 in fact all of them are right so, right you cannot uh, no argue that uh, a particular answer is wrong but all the answers are right but they have different level of uh, error right so they all are approximate answers because uh, no one knows the exact answer of 1 by 3 right because it is an uh, continuous function it is an infinite uh, function sorry infinite fraction Right, so no one knows the correct answer. So if I say 0.10 nines, then 0. Uh, sorry, 0.10 uh, threes, then someone with answer like 0.12 threes is also producing an answer which is better than me. So basically, he is doing the better approximation than me, but he is giving the same same answer. So the answer is same, but it it levels uh, differs on the different degrees of how we are approximating the number. So this is what problem happens when representing uh, floating point numbers into our uh, machine, right? so when you are trying to know a uh, store a number uh, called as 0.1 you are not going to store 0.1 you are going to store uh, 0.000 yes, this is a binary representation and this is an infinitely repeating fraction right so when when you face some infinitely repeating fraction there has to be a point where you cut off cut the number because uh, you cannot store infinite bits in a computer right so uh, the computers are built in such a way that you know uh, everything is uh, fixed right so you have a integer you have a fraction integer has a 3 bits or integer has 4 bits or so i'm you just giving random numbers here and uh, it is 64 bit representation it is 32 bit representation and there are some rules for which we have to stick to and you cannot play with the rules so the same thing happens here so when trying to represent fraction numbers so we are going to you no know, be uh, you no know, given with some uh, infinite repeating fractions and uh, in, we cannot represent infinite repeating fractions into a finite space right so there has to be some kind of uh, cut where you no know, we say okay this is where i'm going to you no know, stop uh, the number and uh, i'm taking this much of an error here and uh, so this is what i'm going to store as my fraction so that is what happens here so when i when someone says uh, 0.1 but uh, the exactly the value that is being stored in the machine is uh, 0.1 some 10 zeros and some 3 fives and some random number but user doesn't want to say this number right so this is where python cleverly manages rounding up the value so it is not going to give you this value it is going to give you 0.1 because it is rounding that number so when when someone is saying the number is 0.1 right so as the python also says that the uh, so number 0.1 and 0.1 10 zeros and 1 and 0. Point some random number these are all approximations of the number 0.1 because they all are representing 0.1 but they all vary in some degrees of error right so you have to keep that in mind and if you have so even the funnier thing is let you know if you know add these numbers there is 0.1 0.1 and 0.1 it is not going to give you 0.3 it is going to give you false right so we have seen that previously right so it is going to give us false because they all 
are different uh, approximations and this does not equal to exact uh, 0 0.3 because yes yes we assume that the value has to be 3 but it is closer to 3 and not exactly 3 so this is where uh, 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 handling a floating point arithmetics in python uh, gives some issues and uh, I'm, I'm doing this video because i have faced that in a hard way so i had an uh, you no know, offer with uh, some company where they gave they wanted to know uh, they wanted me to give a uh, coding interview and um, this is what happened right so they were asked they were given me some standard uh, coin exchange problem where uh, i have a customer who buys some stuff and pays uh, cash and uh, i have to return him uh, uh, change right so and there are multiple denominations of the number so if it was an indian company uh, the the denominations would be something like one ten and all, but it was an American company, so the denominations were something like uh, uh, I have a nickel that is point zero zero five dollars, and I have a pennies that is point zero zero one dollars. So I had to use the floating point arithmetics, and I'm unaware of this, uh, right? So I, before this day, I have I'm not no aware of these limitations. So I uh, simply implemented an algorithm to calculate the coin change, and uh, to my surprise, when I tried to submit this, uh, I have. Uh, I have noticed that there is some kind of uh, approximation happening here and by the time I realized there is not uh, much time left so I had taken some wrong wrong submissions as well so, so I wanted to share this video with all so that uh, you know you all are aware of that and you can you know uh, co come back this error by using a round functions or you can also use uh, pypy that is uh, python that is made on JIT compiler Right. So using these two methods, you can overcome this error. And uh, I hope this video was uh, informative and you found a new thing that which you are uh, not familiar previously. Right. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you found the video interesting, please give a like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you with more videos like this. Thanks for watching.